Hi, my name is Alistair Chapman. I work as a cinematographer, filmmaker, uh, DIT and technologist. I want to talk in this video about this 19 inch rack unit that I put together behind me. So this is a portable system that I use for all kinds of different applications. If I'm working as a DIT, it acts as a switcher for different input sources. Um, it also acts as the input and output to DaVinci Resolve on my MacBook Pro, and it gives me SDI and HDMI in and out of the MacBook Pro. It also gives me the ability to record to a couple of SD cards in ProRes up to 4K as a backup for the main recording system and also helps with quick playback and things like that. Because it incorporates a 1ME Production Studio Vision Mixer, I can use it for live productions, I can take it to a client doing a webcast or something like that, switch between cameras, output that to a computer, um, which I can do via the Ultra Studio, so I can go from the mixer to the Ultra Studio, and then from there I can encode that and stream it live for them. Um, and I can also use it here in my base in the office simply as a way to get that SDI and HDMI input and output from DaVinci Resolve. And what's really important about this that I don't think a lot of people truly appreciate is that if you use a proper dedicated video I.O. rather than your computer's built-in HDMI, you're guaranteed to get the correct color space, your color management will be perfect, your levels will be perfect, there's none of these gamma mismatches that can often occur when you're using a computer's built-in HDMI port for monitoring. So it's been a really useful box. There's a few other things in it as well, down in, in the bottom part of it here there is a Thunderbolt hub that gives me some USB connections for things like the Stream Deck that I use to control it for connecting hard drives, a RAID array, uh, things like that. Um, also there's a network adapter in it that creates a local network so I can talk to all the different devices on that network to set them up and control them. Um, or you can plug in an external network um, if you need access to the World Wide Web and things like that. Um, so as I say, it's been something that's been incredibly useful because it gets used for so many different things. But it's using older units now. So these units are probably, some of them getting on for six or seven years old, maybe more. And being older units, they're not as power efficient as the newer models that you can get, the similar units, but, but newer. And that power consumption means that if you're trying to run it in a van, in a mobile setup, perhaps running it off a portable power pack, it's gonna drain that power pack much faster. Um, it also generates a lot more heat, so the fans can be a lot noisier. And the whole thing does actually run quite hot and I've had to install fans in the back of the unit to keep it all at a reasonable temperature. If you're in a small space, it warms up that space quite efficiently in cold weather, but that's not really what you want. I've got some big events coming up. I've got the Glastonbury Festival coming up in the next few weeks, where we're going to be helping to feed the side screens on the main stage, the pyramid stage for um, the opening ceremony. So we're going to need to think about vision mixing and things like that for that and then we'll be doing on-site live production of some of the content that I'm shooting in the theatre and circus areas. And I felt it was time to update the units that are in this to newer models. So I've got um, an Artem Constellation switcher to go in here. I've got the latest um, Ultra Studio and also an updated version of the 4K recorder. So here's the new and rebuilt rack with the more up-to-date and newer modules in. Let's have a look at what I've got and what I've done. So in the top I have a Constellation 10 input 4K 12G vision mixer and this is a, a lot smaller now than the previous unit and that's allowed me to actually use a different Thunderbolt 3 hub that I have up here. Uh, this hub has some extra inputs and it can also power the um, computer as a 100 and, uh, 100 watt, 120 watt power output and extra ports. Um, but everything does still get pretty hot 
um, but there's a lot less fan noise. If I'm quiet for a moment, you can hear that the, these units are a lot quieter than the previous units. Below that I have a Blackmagic Ultra Studio 4K Mini and that gives me my output from my computer when I'm using DaVinci Resolve to do a live grade perhaps or for editing. So if I'm using this as part of a mobile edit system or even here in the office as the, as the edit system, that gives me a true SDI and HDMI output with the correct levels. And that's very different actually to using a computer's built-in HDMI output because this will work to the correct standards so you can be sure that your monitoring is accurate and correct. There's no weird level shifts and things like that going on when you use this type of device to output from your computer. Below that we have the Hyperdeck Studio 12G. So this is 4K up to 60 frames per second. Everything now is 4K up to 60 frames per second. Um, and that's only a relatively small update from the one I previously had, but it does now bring everything up to 4K 60 frames per second with 12G SDI. In a DIT situation, I can use the uh, constellation up here, which has 10 inputs and six outputs. Each one of those outputs can be separately configured and it can either be a program output, a preview output perhaps, or it could be an individual source direct to that output. So this can act as a router, 10 in, 6 out router. So I can feed different signals, different sources perhaps to the hyperdeck. I can record those locally onto SSDs. And that's really useful in a DIT scenario because it allows you to create a backup copy that you can quickly review and play back without having to take the media out of the camera. In terms of controlling all of this, I have added this Artem Micro Control Panel. And this connects to a computer. The computer running the Artem Control software then sends the inputs from this back to the Constellation. So this is really nice, but you have to run the Artem app on a computer to be able to use this. This is actually connected to the computer and then the computer translates the commands to this to the, um, to the switcher. So that does necessitate a computer being connected to the system somehow controlling the switcher. And I'm not always going to have a computer connected. So I've been looking at other alternative ways of controlling everything. And one of the things that's really nice is there is an app called Mix Effect um, that you can run on a computer or you can run it on an iPad, on a tablet, and that will control the uh, switcher. And it's really good. It's really configurable. Um, you can do everything that the pretty much everything that the Blackmagic app does. Um, the only thing you can't do with it is camera control, really. And that works really well on a tablet because it gives you touchscreen control. But um, sometimes I'm going to want to only use the tablet. So what I've also added in the box now, although it's not hardwired in at the moment, is this device here, which is an Axun Simo. And the Axun Simo, what I'm doing there is I'm taking, um, at the moment at least, I'm taking the um, multi-view output into the Simo. The Simo converts that into a signal that's compatible with iOS, iPads, uh, iPad Pros and, and iPads. So I can view the output on the iPad. And then using the multi-view function on my iPad Pro that I've got here, it's a second-hand iPad Pro, iPad Pro, it cost me £100. This is a cheap piece of kit. Um, I'm using the multi-view function to run both the Axoon C app, so I can see the multi-view output on the screen, and the Mix Effect app at the same time. So my iPad is able to control the Vision Mixer and act as a preview monitor all with one device and it makes for a really compact setup. So a really nice way to control this thing. If you're using a computer with the Mix Effect app, uh, one of the things that I've included in this rack is a, um, first of all, SDI to HDMI uh, mini converter. And then that HDMI goes into a low cost USB capture card, which is then connected into the Thunderbolt hub up here. And that then gives me a UVC 
uh, input, and if I take the multi-view, that can go into a uh, computer, in my case a MacBook Pro, and it allows me to use the, multi the mix effects USB view function, which overlays the controls over the multi-view. So you can actually uh, click on the camera source that you want, see the live view all on one page, all on one screen, and it's a really nice way to work. If you have a newer iPad that has USB-C as opposed to a lightning port, it'll also work on uh, a tablet on an iPad as well. So that's the new system and uh, really pleased with it. It has, uh, as you can hear actually, if I'm quiet for a moment, it's a lot quieter. There's a lot less fan noise. It does still run hot, but it's a lot less noisy than the previous units and previous models were.